Today's episode is going to be about should you tell the narcissist you are leaving? Should you tell them that you are deciding to go? It's time for you to go. You done. You ready to pack your stuff up and dip out. Before we hop into today's episode, y'all know I got to mention my self-love journal, which is available on Amazon. Check it out. I love me. A self-love journal by Lee Hammock helps you rebuild that self-love and um, identity before, during, or after a toxic relationship dynamic. Um... So, back to the topic at hand, y'all. Here we have it, here we have it, here we have it. Should you tell the narcissist you'll leave it? So let me go ahead and say this. I don't tell everybody everybody to leave their relationship, y'all. I know people just see my channel and just like, Lee Hammock is the the breakup specialist. He wants to break up families and blah, 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 boo, 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 beep, beep, beep. No, I'm not telling everybody to leave, y'all. I'm just saying, if you have came to the, the, if you have came to the conclusion that it's time for you to go, then it's time for you to go. And should you tell them you are leaving? So this is my situation right here, y'all. It really depends. It really depends. My thing is safety first. It's always safety first. If you are in a physically abusive relationship, if you, if, if, when I mean physically abusive, I don't mean just hitting and kicking and punching or putting their hands around your throat. I'm talking about, um, like even the threat of doing it, like if they ball their fist up, if they hit a wall, if they throw something in your direction, if they break things and you know tear the whole house up, in situations like that when y'all are arguing or you've tried to leave before, that's what this is what I mean right here. Or if you even if you're in an emotionally abusive relationship and they've conveyed threats to you, like you know if you leave me, I'll hurt you. You know if you try to leave me, I'll do this. You know you can't never leave me, right? You know we're together forever, right? Blah blah blah. You see what I'm saying? If you are in, if any of those situations are true for you, then I'm going to say, don't, you don't, look y'all, make a plan in order. It's like making an escape plan. Put a plan in order, be as safe as you possibly can, and don't tell this person you plan on leaving them because some people have that mindset of, if I can't have you, no one will. You know what I mean? If I can't have you, no one can. No one will in situations like that. You know what I mean? That's in the space that a lot of people, that's the space a lot of some narcissistic people, people's minds go to. You know, if I can't have you, no one will. And they mean it. And they, and they absolutely mean it. If they joked about it before, they probably mean that, y'all. And sometimes narcissistic people, no matter how they've been treating you, cannot stand the fact or the thought of you leaving and being with somebody else. Because that's, that's, where, the, uh, that's where the mind goes first you're going to be with someone else because that's the only reason that you will be leaving me is because you have someone else. That's the way a lot of narcissistic people's minds work and they don't want you to be with anybody else, no matter how they're treating you. They'll do everything but treat you better, y'all. And sometimes when you threaten to leave them or you actually leave them or you try to move out while they are there, that's when you see some narcissistic people, toxic ass people, become family annihilators where they will annihilate the whole family and then take themselves out. You see that happen all the time, y'all. It's just it's just one of these things that the intimate partner violence or intimate intimate partner crimes are super high, y'all. It's one of those things that are that are super high on the scale and whatnot. It's one of those things that happen way more times than it actually needs to happen, you know. So yeah, intimate partner violence is extremely high, y'all. And it, it, you run if you decide to tell them, you run the extreme risk of them becoming violent towards you. So a lot of times I'm going to tell people, like, should I tell them I'm leaving? I'm going to say the word, no. I'm going to say, look, no. But I feel like I owe them a reason. I feel like I owe them something, this, this, that. Like, this, just because you're leaving them, like, so a lot of times people have kids and things that you are tied, that, that tie you together. This probably won't be the last communication that you have with this person, especially if there are things that you have to separate or divorce or kids and things and situations like that. This probably won't be the last time you communicate with this person, but you want to be as safe as possible when you're doing this. You know, you're not leaving them forever. If you have kids, you're not absconding with the kids to run away, and because they can try to probably try to get you for parental alienation if that's what their mind is going. You know, you see what I'm saying? Everybody has different resources and situ and things of that nature. Because like, if you're financially dependent upon the person that you're you're trying to leave, then you like it, it might be a little bit more difficult for you to leave. You might have to stockpile money, save money up, and things like that. Get a like like you know online business where you sell things or on, work from home online or something like that. You know, there's different things you can do. Raise money to or to GoFundMe to get enough money to leave. Because I saw a woman on TikTok very recently. She her partner was like literally cheating on her, and she was a stay at home mom, and he would cheat on her. He's like, you got to deal with it. 
you know, uh, he was super abusive towards her, so she couldn't leave. Like he was financially abusing her, physically, mentally, emotionally, all kinds of abuse to her, towards her, and cheating on her. Um, he said, "You got to deal with it. There's nothing you can do. I'm in, con- I'm in control of the money. I got all the resources. This, this, that. You know what I mean? So in that situation right there, she, you know, she, she took off on TikTok. She, they had a, like a little private GoFundMe for. Her. Got her enough money to move away, and then she got her own spot. She's working now. She's doing good. Like she made a plan. She didn't tell him, but when he she found when he found out she left, like when she found out he left, uh, when she when he found out that she had left, he started blowing her phone up. Come home, please, baby, please. I'm sorry. I'll forget. Please forgive me. I'll do this. And she had, she's not going back there, y'all. She she's she's gone. Because if you leave and you go back, if you decide to leave when if you leave and you don't tell them that you're leaving, and then you go back to them. They, yeah, you're putting your life at risk. I'm just being realistic. The, the, if you felt your life was at risk before you left, then your life is going to be at more risk if you go back because they won't let you leave again. They'll always, in the back of their mind, they're always going to be thinking you that you're. They, they, they're always going to be thinking that you're going to leave them again. So they're going to always be prepared for it. They're going to set it up. They're going to try to make it harder for you to leave again the next time. So you have to be very, very careful if you decide to go back to this person. You know, again, I'm not saying like, y'all, please believe me. When I tell y'all this. I'm not trying to, you know, just tell y'all to leave y'all's family and whatnot, leave your, leave your partner. I'm just saying you have to be as safe as possible. And sometimes like when my wife left me, she didn't tell me that she was leaving. I came home and she was gone, not because I'm physically abusive or anything like that, but because I'm a talker. I can talk, y'all. If you're afraid of this person, like you don't have to be afraid for your life to not tell them. Sometimes you you shouldn't tell them because they can talk their way out of it. I'm a talker. I'm very very manipulative with my words. I know how to talk to people to get what I want from them. You know, so she knows that. So to protect herself, she left. And she didn't like say she told me she, when I, when she left and got where she was going. She told me where she was. We set up a parenting schedule, a parenting plan, and stuff like that. And that's how we had to communicate for a while. You know, I didn't talk to her. we didn't talk to her outside about the kids. And y'all don't take me as an example, a good example of that, because most people are not going to be cooperate as cooperative with you like I was with my with my wife. I was super cooperative with her because I, you know, I'm I already been in therapy, you know. But most people are not going to be cooperative with you. They're going to try to make your life harder, you know, because you leave them. They're going to they're going to take you leaving them as a sign of ultimate rejection, and they're going to try to punish you for that reject. They're, they're going to try to punish you for that right there, y'all. They just will. That's one of those things that they, that, that they are just going to try to do. They're going to try to make you pay for rejecting them and whatnot, for breaking the family. They're going to try to make you feel bad. So be as careful as you possibly can, y'all, especially if there's a history of physical violence in the, in the relationship, y'all. You don't have to tell them that you're leaving. You just have to be as be careful as possible. And sometimes you don't even have to tell them where you're going, you know, you don't have to tell them where you're going. Like I said, the kids in the situation right there, that, that it, it makes it choppy. So I'm always, I'm always refer y'all to talk to an attorney, a free one if if you have to, a free attorney to say, hey, what are my rights here with the kids? Do I have to? If I leave, do I have to tell him where I'm moving to? I have to tell her where I'm moving to, you know, because we have kids, you know, because sometimes you got to get restraining orders. There's so many different things that kind of go on. In these relationships, there's so many different moving pieces that go on in these relationship dynamics in these spaces and whatnot. You know what I mean? So you have to protect your peace. You have to protect yourself. That's one. That's the thing that you, 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 you need to do, do, do. You have to do it because if you don't, this, you, your life is going to end. Your life is going to be ruined and whatnot. You're going to run on top of you. Um, but should you, in, certain, in certain situations, should you tell them you're leaving? Yeah. If y'all, if you feel like you can have an amicable breakup with your narcissistic person. <laughs> and this is a rarity, y'all. If you feel like you can have an amicable breakup with your narcissistic person, then maybe you can tell them. I don't like I say everybody's situation is going to be very uniquely different. I had one of my one of my um, friends in real life left uh, left her partner, and she told him she like hey, I'm, I'm, she had already signed the lease and everything, and she moved up, and she told him. And of course, he reacted viscerally. He had a horrible reaction, start you know threatening to take the money keep her from the yeah i'm just telling you he didn't put his hands on her because he's not a violent person but you know he was very emotionally abusive and threatening when she tried to leave so even in situations like that you know she told him but like you have to be very very careful y'all i will say that you probably know your narcissistic person better than i do but be very careful y'all it's a case case by case basis on whether or not you should tell that person that you're leaving them you like i said I'm not telling you to abscond with the kids. This is not me telling you to run away and hide. Like sometimes y'all, you might need to situationally dependent, but talk to an attorney first before you run away and hide because 
Sometimes if you run and hide with the kids and they find you, they can they might be able to claim parental alienation and they might get full custody of your kids and you have visitation with your kids, which are, which they are going to make difficult, you know, which they are going to try to make difficult. Is it is it is the time when you want to cut them off when you want to be done with them? That's when they sometimes they'll try to make their, they'll try their hardest to get you back. They'll promise to change. They'll go to therapy. They'll do this. They'll do this. They'll pop up at your house or your your place of work to beg you to come home, to beg you back. They'll send flowers and things like that to try to get you to come home. They don't, well, yeah, they'll do every, they might change to get you to come home, but then they'll go back to who they were because you came home. You know, just be very careful, y'all. Be very, very weary because narcissistic people, they, we, they, we are out to benefit ourselves. You know, first and foremost, I'm, how do I benefit me? You know, so be as careful, be as safe as you possibly can, y'all. Check out the Self Love Journal on Amazon. I Love Me by Lee Hammock. If y'all already have the journal, thank you so much. Can you please, 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 if it's in in your heart and soul, leave me a good review on there. Please, 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 uh, please, please, and thank you so much, y'all. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental illness rock star and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos in my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids book. Remember, it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.